It's not a way to get your way with others or avoid your responsibilities. Put it out to the group and let them deal with it. Or a way to delay necessary decisions. Or a one-time event. Oftentimes people will say, well, we collaborated as if that was an event, something on their to-do list. Collaboration is not groupthink. Everybody gets along, everybody says yes, everybody you know, says yes to the person in charge. And collaboration is definitely not well understood, nor is it well done. Collaboration is not common. I'm showing you this picture to talk about what collaboration truly is. Just before my 60th birthday a couple of years ago, my son, who lives is a video game developer in Los Angeles, Dan called me and said, Hey, Dad, before you turn 60, I'd like you to join me in the first uh, Canadian Tough Mudder. Dan's in the top 5% of the world in Tough Mudder, and uh, it was a great honor. And I was uh, said yes and very scared, too, because uh, he is super fit and I'm not. But I like to go to uncomfortable places to challenge myself. And I saw the honor in my son inviting me to that. Well, guess what? When you start Tough Mudder, which is, I think, 27 obstacles and might even be 27 kilometers, 20 miles, just crazy mountain challenge through all sorts of difficult challenges. Well, to start, they put you into groups of 50 in a bullpen. To get into that bullpen, you have to climb a 10-foot wall. There's no steps, no ropes. You, you've got to find a way to get over. My son helped me over. He helped many other people over. When you get in that bullpen, there's loud music. They're pumping us up. They're go, go, go. Here we go. It's going to be a great day in Whistler, British Columbia. And then this large, super athletic, super skilled looking guy says, now, before we start, look around you. Look at the 50 people in this bullpen. Your job is not to beat them. Your job is to make sure everybody finishes. Everybody finishes. Your job is not to beat them. Isn't that fantastic? I felt able, enabled, encouraged, trusting. Before we finish that race, that tough mutter, my son helped many. I helped a few, and more, than, more often than not, many helped me over those obstacles, through those freezing uh, lakes, ice-filled lakes. You'll see in this picture, this is the last obstacle. It's like 10,000 volts. Those are bare electrical wires you have to run through. My son grabbed my hand and said, let's finish this together, Dad. And we've made it through. We've made it through. And the reason I made it through is collaboration. So think of your projects, your family, your company, your nation. How can we work together better? How can we support each other? How can we access the collective will and the collective intelligence? We are better together. Collaboration and the metaphor of Tough Mudder is true. And we all finished. So why would you collaborate? Well, here's just a few of the reasons. To break through to yes. It's a strategic advantage. There's so much resistance. There's so much anti-social media. There's so much protest. There's so much disengagement of employees that we can overcome resistance by including, by listening, by respecting, by incorporating ideas. And when you do that, yes, it takes time, and it's bumpy, and it's difficult, and it's seldom well done. But when you do that, you go so fast after, because it's ours, not mine. Ours. And the outcomes are far better. Through the collaborative process, I've found the outcomes, the ideas, the way to get to the objective or the goal that I was seeking was different than what I originally thought, and it was better. Doing more with less, let's talk about that for a moment. 
doing more with less. Yes, we are highly competitive. I'm a capitalist. I'm, I love the challenge of economics, the challenge of making money, making a difference, and more important, building strong relationships, mentoring and coaching others. We can do more with less. Our organizations don't need to duplicate resources that other organizations already have and do better. Many of the not-for-profit organizations across the world are really collaborating now to say, yes, we are competing for donations, for example, cancer, heart and stroke, environmental, educational, youth. We are competing for dollars, but by collaborating, we don't all have to have our separate computer systems, our separate leadership systems, our separate strategic plans, our step separate financing, uh, financial tracking. We can find ways where we can support each other. We can actually work together and identify where our interests are common and where they're competing and reach agreements on how we proceed. It's so important. Don't any longer look at your resources as simply the people on your payroll on your team or in your office building. Collaborative culture is actually a global organization. Think of it as a global system that we're just starting to access. It's a global system, global resources, people, ideas, intelligence that's out there that we don't add to our general and administrative costs. We don't add to our overhead. We don't have to have them in our buildings or under our control. There are many, many possibilities. Let's create a center of excellence for collaborative leadership. Let's learn together. There are so many reasons to collaborate. 